So I made a community post on my YouTube channel a few days ago talking about that there could be potential delays with updates to games like Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighborville and I honestly believe that this would include Ranked Battle Arena which was supposedly coming later this month. We're going to be talking about why things could be potentially delayed in today's video but I do have some good news in that Ranked Battle Arena will still be coming to the game later this month and we're going to be talking about that in today's video as well. So before we do get into why a lot of games could be getting delays to the updates, let's actually talk about Ranked Battle Arena. If you did not know, Ranked Battle Arena is going to be very similar to what we have in Battle Arena currently right now. However, you're going to be able to get yourself a specific rank depending on how well you do at the game. And then at the end of each season, there's going to be season rewards. And depending on which rank you are at the end of the season will depend on which reward you get. The higher your rank, the better rewards you're going to get. This is definitely going to be something for the more competitive people because as your rank increases, you're going to be going against other people with very similar ranks. So it's going to be very close games, it's going to be very competitive, and then the higher you are, the more challenging opponents you're going to face. Now at the time of recording this video, we don't actually know what rewards we are going to get at the end of each season. Of course, the higher rank you are, the better rewards you're going to get, but we don't know what those rewards are going to be. I'm hoping it's not just going to be coin rewards because once you've unlocked everything from the Rewardatron, coins are basically useless. So I'm hoping it's going to be something a little bit more valuable than that. Maybe you're going to earn yourself some rainbow stars. Maybe you're going to be able to earn yourself some exclusive cosmetics or costumes or something like that. That's what I'm hoping the rewards are going to be and I'm sure that's what you're hoping the rewards are going to be. But until we actually find the information out, we can only speculate of what we could win. Now as far as when Battle Arena Ranked is going to be coming to the game, Plants vs Zombies tweeted out yesterday saying it's almost here, Battle Arena Ranked. Servers will be down next week, March 24th at 11am Pacific Time for up to 2 hours, which after the updates and the servers go live again, Battle Arena Ranked will be available. So we're going to be able to play Ranked Battle Arena on March the 24th at about 1pm Pacific Time, which I think right now with the time zone differences in the UK is only 7 hours difference between the UK and Pacific Time, so that'll be about 8pm in the UK. So I'm going to be jumping into that, we're going to be having a lot of fun, and hopefully I'm going to bump into some of you guys when it does launch as well. So the good news is that Ranked Battle Arena is going to be coming later this month in about a week's time. However, we do still want to discuss the potential delay to future updates for not only Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighborville and other Electronic Arts titles, but probably a lot of other games as well. I'm going to be reading a statement here from Electronic Arts regarding what's going on with them right now with the whole coronavirus, because obviously that's a, a big talking point going around the entire world right now. So this is what the statement does say. To our Electronic Arts community, this has been an unprecedented few days in an already unprecedented time. As the world works to limit the spread of the coronavirus pandemic, a sweeping set of societal and cultural changes are now impacting all of our daily lives. We'd like to take a moment to update you all on what we're doing at Electronic Arts to ensure the health and well-being of our employees, while also making sure that everyone is able to keep playing their favourite games. Since in January, we've had a global task force closely monitoring the evolving situation with coronavirus and working daily to respond to the changing needs of our people in real time. We've been constantly assessing the risk of exposure in the regions where we have offices, guided by the recommendations from the local and federal health authorities, and the information we're getting from our own teams. In Asia, we've worked in accordance with the regional health and government guidance. We've previously closed our locations in Shanghai, Singapore and Seoul, as well as our Milan office with teams working from home. As the situation stabilizes in Shanghai and Singapore, our teams are now returning to work in line with guidance from regional health officials. Our locations in Seoul and Milan remain closed, with those teams continuing to work remotely. We implemented global travel restrictions in late February, eliminating all travel except very rare cases, and have been working with local leadership at the office and studio to make the best decisions for our people with the information we have. At the same time, we've been planning for business continuity, ensuring that the people have the support and resources they need to work from home. 
Our IT and security teams have scaled up our remote working systems, including deployment of VPN capacity upgrades, so that our studio and development work can continue from home, in addition to standard business operations. As of today, we have transitioned to strongly recommending that all of our employees in North America, Europe, and Australia work from home until April the 1st to help limit potential exposure to coronavirus and minimize the social spread of the illness. Many of these sites include our Redwood Shores headquarters, were already giving employees the option to work from home and now is the time for greater measures. We will only have very limited staff for our business critical functions at these sites. Everyone else will be working remotely. Our senior leaders, site leaders and IT teams have been working together to help prepare us for this. We've also taken steps to ensure that the vendors and contractors that provide services on site at our facilities will continue to be paid, even if they're not able to work from home in their roles. As we take these steps for Electronic Arts employees, we're also very focused on minimising any potential for distribution to our players. We are confident in our continuity plans. We don't anticipate major changes in our games or services as a result of our teams working from home, but we're learning through this process as well and patience will be key. We're constantly talking and working with our teams across the world to evolve with this situation. These are challenging times for everybody. We're working to look after our employees and their families and we're making sure we're doing the right thing and responsible things to fight this pandemic illness. We have an amazing technology team that are making it possible for all of this to happen and we're deeply thankful. We now have thousands of employees that have taken equipment to their homes so they can keep creating games and services running and continue working on new projects. We may be doing it from our homes around the world but we're doing everything we can to be here for you. So that is a very long statement that I did just read out to you but we have found out that a lot of people, if not the majority of the employees at EA in North America, Europe and Australia are now working working from home and a lot of the team have actually taken equipment home so they can actually work on the games from home as well. So yes they can still work on the games but of course it's not going to be as efficient as it would be if they was at the office and of course a lot of things could change but at the meantime they don't think it's going to affect the games too much but of course with everything that's going on and people working from home it's not going to be exactly the same as the environment if you was at the studio so even though they can still work on the games and everything like that there could be potential delays to updates and things like that in the future and also could be may maybe some issues with the servers as well because obviously the whole team isn't working at the studio but honestly it's not the end of the world, guys. If we don't get an update for a while or we don't get the services to be absolutely perfect for a period of time, it's not the end of the world. Let's be honest here, guys. The health is the most important thing. And if a game goes down, it doesn't really matter. We've got plenty of other things we can worry about. But uh, I did want to let you guys know about this statement. I I'm really happy that they have decided to take this uh, approach and obviously a lot of the staff are now working from home. I know plenty of people that work at Electronic Arts, some of them are very close friends of mine and I want to make sure they're being safe and uh, they're being looked after and of course that is actually what is happening. But just to finish off guys, I just want to let you know that make sure you guys are staying safe, make sure you are washing your hands and all of that to make sure you are limiting the potential chance of spreading this virus. We're in a very bizarre situation right now where in my whole lifetime, I don't really remember countries going on lockdown, and uh, it's it's worrying, it's scary, but if we look after ourselves and we work together, we can get through this, uh, hopefully sooner rather than later. Nonetheless, thank you very much for watching today's video. My name is Zero, and I will catch you all in another video.